Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful tutorial, we'll be trying to see how to link and how to publish and upload our CLI that we created, right? So previously we learned about how to make it global. So right now, if you go with this, we're going to be node domain registry. Oh, right, that is locally, right? In case you want to run it, but you don't want to be repeating this node node stuff. You want to make it global. So how do you do that? You have to link it. So in doing so, we learned that to link it, just quit. Make sure that you have this particular executable shebang at the top level of your file domain registry as we learned previously then inside our package in json we're going to let's make it mit we're just going to place in our this particular code so this is going to be a bin right and, and then there's a name that you'll be using domain registry then the file itself right domain history but yeah so let's make it executable by going with smod class let me make it bigger so let's not see it well so ch mode then the particular file right so now it has made six double perfect so after that we will save this particular stuff we have everything is saved working well now let's make it global by going with this particular code of npm i'm using system so sudo npm link right Perfect. So it has linked it perfectly for us. So now I don't need to be doing no, no domain registry. I don't need to be doing this. It will work. It's still going to work. But I can just go straight away with domain registry. And then help. Voila. See that everything is working perfectly. I can also create something new. We had this. It's working perfectly. I can also create do whatever I was doing. So domain history, let me make it bigger. Domain, we have domain name, domain history. Then I can go with generate an example. So let's generate something simple that you can use. So let's give it an example that we have been using. Example. If you see that that is generated perfectly for us. That means everything is working. So then let's see how to upload it or put it on npm package and as well as github so let's try it so i'm just going to create a github repo so i'll copy this that we have here all this thing that we have here, right we have all of these things i'm going to copy this once there's a folder with everything inside but i don't need this particular stuff so i'll just copy this this i don't need this one so I'll copy this one this one this one this one and then this I'll copy it inside a folder, a different folder, a new folder altogether. So let's go to domain history, right? That's the name of the folder because that's the name of the app I'm creating. I'm going to put it inside there, everything here. Perfect. Now let's go to GitHub. This is my GitHub, and I'm going to create a repository, a new repo. Then in this new repo, I'm going to give it the same name that I have, right? So let's give it as domain history. So domain history. That is the particular name, right? Domain history. So it's going to be a domain name generation application. Or CLI, yeah. CLI application. Very interesting. Then we need a readme. So we just initialize the repository with a readme, right? And let's put it there. So it has created it for us, domain history. Perfect. And then it's having a, a readme, right? So it's having this particular readme. You can edit this readme with our own readme by going with this the edit. Then let me paste our readme that we have, which is this our readme. We have this readme here. So I'll just copy it, same thing. Then paste it here. This is a long format, but you can still work with it without it. Let's place it here. Perfect. Right? With the image, some of them are not there, but you do it later. Right. And a domain name generation CLI, right? So let's take off this. Perfect. So let me see. So that is something one way of doing it, right? Then let's um let's call it as readme. 
it new, right? Dot MD. Yeah, I'll not update it. Let's update it. Perfect. So we said that the, everything is there working. So the requirements, the method, method one, method two, method three, how to work with it, right? Perfect. So the image is not showing, but we we'll work with it on it later. Now we have created our do our domain history. So let's clone it. I'm just going to click on this, then copy it, right? Copy this particular URL that we have, and I'm going to go back to our we have a different location, the document, take it down. And so here I'm just going to get clone into this particular place. Now paste in the URL. Perfect. So we have our domain history here. Very interesting. This is the domain history that we have. So if I see the into this domain history, there's nothing there. Right? Only the our readme. Now paste in our style that we had here, this particular stuff. I'm going to copy everything and put it inside our domain history file that we had, which was this. Of course, I'll replace this thing. Perfect. So if I go back, see that now it's having all these files there. Right. So we have this. Okay. We have this one. The most important thing here, we have the images folder. We have the package of JSON, package of JSON log, and a readme. So if I run this particular stuff here, it's going to give us an error. Right? The reason it's giving us an error that this this is we, we change the location. So to keep us and giving us an error, we're just going to go with npm install. Right? That is why in our readme here we, we refer that in case you want it to run, you just have to cd into the download the repository change it to the directory, then do this, right, to be able to install it. So we're going to use a package.json file that we have, this file, to install it. So that's the basic description that we have given here, right, just like we have here. Perfect. So let's not try it. So perfect. So now let's upload this. We're going to be Git. Add. We're going to add everything in the repository. Now just go with git status. So we have all these things, right? These are all the modified ones. Then you can just go with git commit m the message to domain history. Right? Uh, domain name generation. The reason I'm using this one CLR is to help with search, right? A domain, yeah. Domain name generation CLR. Perfect, so that's updated it. Now let's push it. So git push. So the carries. Then the password is going to be perfect. So that's push it perfectly there. So no no issues. So if I come back to my repository here, then let's refresh it. Right, so we see that it's working in domain history with everything. And then the app is here, working perfectly well. Perfect, it's working very well. And then that is not the only thing. So if you check our readme, everything is working together with the image. Very, very interesting, right? Everything is working as expected. You work with it, uploaded it, and everything is working well. Now let's see how to push it to NPM, right? Everything is working. So let's see how to push it to NPM. You have not created, written any test, but let's see how to do that. And later on, we go on. So this is my NPM account. You just go to npmjs.com. You create an account. You sign up then to give you your details. So let's log in. It's going to be NPM. Login. So we're going to ask my phone design input is the same thing I have. The KRS. Then the password, right? So this is it. Who am I? It's going to give us the particular name. So this is Very interesting. So how do we log? How do we push it? So to push it, we already know that it is already working here, right? So to push it, it's going to be npm publish. So push it. So to push it, we already know that it is already working here, right? So to push it, it's going to be npm publish. Then Publish. <laughs> I'm going to go through that to that particular place. So it's pushing everything there, right? So that is the name that we have there. So that is the name of the particular application. So if I go to here, right, and I refresh it. So 
So now I can just search for it. So let's search for domain history. So Professor now it's a right? Domain history CLI. Very interesting. Right? So that is the name that we give to this particular stuff. <laughs> so it's giving us all the various stuff. So domain history, domain name, generation CLI. Then to install, just go with npm install domain history. Then we have npm install, and these are the various ways of working with it. Right? So this is the simplest method to go with this particular option. So let's try it and see whether it's going to work. So I've logged out of the particular location. This is a totally different place. Then I can just go with npm install domain history. Domain history. Let's see whether it's going to work. So I just got to go with sudo, right? Because I'm on this thing. Voila, so that's worked, but said it's not in the npm. <laughs> you should back the author to publish it or use the name yourself. Mm. Oh boy, see the mistake you made. So, the reason we are having an issue is that we made it the name of the package was the main history CLI, right? That is the name of the particular package. So, for us to install it, you just have to go with this. <laughs> CLI before it work. You are being watched. The government has a secret system. And I especially it very well. Right. So the name is very, very important. So the name is very, very important. This name here. We forgot to change it. We just made domain history that CLI. It's supposed to be only domain history. But anyway, don't worry, we will still work on it and use it like that. So if I see that now, that has been able to download very well. So how do you run it? <laughs> so let's see whether we can just run it like this. The main history, CLI, does that help? Let's see whether it's going to work. You see, you cannot find it. But if I try with this, that does help. Perfect, now it's working, right? And I'm sure this one, the reason it's working is because we have we have linked it already. That is why it is working. Okay, so okay, so we have been able to publish it, but we realize that we made a mistake here, right? We call it domain history and let's go CLI. So how do we unpublish this one and then publish a new one? This is less than seven, 72 hours, so we can be able to unpublish it. So let's see how to work with it. So how do you unpublish your package and then publish another one? This is usually when it is within 72 hours, right? So let's see how to do that. So we had it like this. If you check our package or JSON file, there was a name error here, right? So we have to change this particular stuff to domain just we don't want the CLI. I'm going to save it, then I'm going to unpublish it here. So it's going to be npm unpublish unpublish. Right, then the name of the package that we have, which was this, right? Domain history, which is a name, the same name that you are using here, right? This particular name here. Right. And then we are going to unpublish it. Publish dash f. So with the dash f, it's going to remove everything from it. Okay, so I'm sure you know what you are doing. Yes, I know what I'm doing <laughs> because there was there was a mistake I made here. So just now it has been unpublished. Now if I go back and then let's refresh it. Let's refresh our stuff. And let's search for it again. So domain history. That's going to give us nothing, right? No packages found. If I go back to my account, here's my account, and check my packages. But nothing there, right? That is how to work with it. That is how to unpublish your package in case you don't want it, right? So now we have made some changes. Well, that was a very, very big mistake that we made, right? So let's make it as domain history, right? So domain history instead of domain history CLI and then everything you should know that everything is working perfectly so I'll go back to my github folder let's make sure that everything is as we expect you don't have to make the same mistake again otherwise it's not going to work right so we're going to change it from domain CLI to domain history and MIT making sure that everything is working perfectly as expected perfect now we can just go back again 
with the same stuff. Let me cut it and see. <laughs> I'm becoming paranoid. That be. <laughs> so okay, the name package name is domain industry perfect, and everything is working. Out. So it's going to be npm publish. And it's going to publish it perfectly for us. So you see that is giving us everything now it has, it has registered it perfectly so this is what we wanted so if i go back and i refresh it so let's refresh this page perfect so now it's working right so this is what we want right so i can click on it and then you can see what this particular package has for us there with all the requirements and then the method so this is the method that we need and this is the repository so in case you are on github you want to do it there's a particular format right and then in case you want to use it there's a local usage right that is if you use github then it's a global usage right perfect and then this is how to work with it for each and every one of them and then the screenshot so this screen screenshot is for this particular stuff but we don't use images here that is why it's not give us this. so you have to edit this one out later so let's try it and see I'm going to open a whole new terminal. Right, this is a different terminal from far away from the stuff. So let me go to my desktop, CD desktop. And let's create a simple MKDR test. <laughs> See how I spelled it. So let's go to CD test. Now let's see how to work with it. So I'm just going to go with npm in it. I'm going to create something simple and then see whether it's going to work, right? And then let's give it as, let's say, test file, then, mm -hmm. so nothing, right? Perfect. So we have a package of JSON file, so I want to add it to it. So it's going to be npm install our domain registry that's a safe. Right, it's going to add it to this package of JSON file. The suite is there that we have it here, right? So if I go to my for my test file, which is this test file, we have our load file here, and then if I go here, you see that we have the domain history here, right? We had chalk, we have commander because these were all requirements, these were all the requirements that was found here, right? So chalk, commander, and then node.js, and then these things have been they also found within our stuff, should be chalk, the commander, and then domain history. And we have our file there, right? Perfect. So let's see how to work with it in that place. So I can just go through the way with our domain history help, right? This is if I do it globally. So here, everything is working well. So let's try and install it globally. It's going to be npm install domain history. Perfect. If this we are installing it globally on the entire system so that we need to work with it. It we will switch on a different system and work on it. Perfect. So let's see what it's going to work. So domain history dash dash help. Voila, everything is working well. So let's create a simple domain. So let's go to generate. Thanks for watching, right? Thank you, right? Perfect, so just created it very well. So everything is working. So if I go with cut the thank you, everything is working well. So this is how to unpublish your own package and then republish a new one, right? So thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, I just go inside the comment section below. And as time goes on, we'll be adding more stuff to it. Thank you and stay blessed.